This video explores the possible reasons for low search quality in retrieval augmented generation, RAG systems, and demonstrates how new task type embeddings can address this issue. Retrieval augmented generation is rapidly gaining popularity as an architecture pattern for grounding large language models. It retrieves relevant business data and feeds it to the LLM, effectively reducing hallucinations. However, many RAG engineers are struggling to build production quality retrieval engines. The search quality of RAG systems is becoming a major challenge. This often happens when using basic text embeddings with vector databases for simple similarity searches. It's a common issue in information retrieval system design, one that Google has been addressing in its search services for over a decade. Simple similarity search often leads to poor results in Q&A systems like RAG due to the question is not the answer problem. This is because questions and their answers often have very different meanings. For example, the question, why is the sky blue? And its answer, sunlight scattering causes the blue color, are semantically distinct. Similarly, if you ask a RAG system with similarity search, what's the best birthday present for my son? It's unlikely to retrieve items like Nintendo Switch or Lego sets as these answers are not semantically similar to the question. Technically speaking, there's a significant gap between the distributions of the question embedding space and the answer embedding space, so a simple similarity search is ineffective. To bridge this gap, you need an AI ML model that can learn complex relationships between queries and answers. Developers often incorporate sophisticated semantic search, similar to neural matching, into their search systems. A popular approach is to train a dual encoder model, also known as a two-tower model. This model learns the relationship between query embeddings and answer embeddings, effectively mapping queries to relevant documents, as depicted in the diagram. However, designing, training, and deploying a production retrieval system with a customized dual encoder model is challenging. It requires expertise in data science and ML engineering, along with substantial effort to train the model on a dataset of question-answer pairs. The rise of large language models, or LLMs, has led to the development of advanced RAG approaches aimed at addressing this challenge. HIDE leverages the reasoning capabilities of LLMs to generate potential answer texts, which are then used for similarity searches. Additionally, query expansion within LLMs employs LLM reasoning to expand the original query by incorporating potential answer candidates as query text. The downside of these LLM-based approaches is that they add LLM prediction latency and high cost to every query. While vector search itself can finish within milliseconds and handle thousands of queries per second at low cost, LLM reasoning adds a few seconds of latency to each query at a significantly higher cost than generating embeddings. The Vertex AI Embeddings API recently launched new text embedding models developed by the Google DeepMind and Research team. These models are unique because they generate optimized embeddings for specific tasks like question answering, document retrieval, and fact verification. With these new models, you can achieve higher search quality without the time and expense of developing dual encoder models or advanced RAG systems. To generate embeddings for question answering, specify the task type question answering for query texts, and retrieval document for answer texts. The embedding model generates optimized embeddings that represent the question answer relationship between them. For example, the query embedding for why is the sky blue and the answer embeddings for the scattering of air will be closer in the embedding space. This proximity in the embedding space enables vector databases to deliver higher search quality and find the right answer to the query. The new embedding models achieve this through an innovative approach to pre-training. The Google DeepMind and research team employed LLM distillation, a technique for training a smaller model from a larger one, to pre-train a dual encoder-based embedding model. Here's how the distillation process works. First, synthetic query generation. The team used an LLM to generate numerous synthetic queries from the task-specific training dataset. Second, query document pair generation. The LLM was also used to generate pairs of queries and relevant documents. The team used generated queries to identify potentially relevant documents, creating query document pairs. 
These pairs were then evaluated by an LLM, which labeled them as either positive or negative. This label data was used to train a dual encoder-based embedding model. The resulting model effectively distills the LLM's reasoning capabilities for specific tasks, enabling efficient and intelligent matching between queries and documents. It is significantly smaller, faster, and more cost-effective than the original LLM, while still providing high-quality embeddings. The new embeddings models support these task types on the table. For example, in a question answering system such as RAG, using retrieval document for generating document embeddings and question answering for embedding question texts, this approach generally yields better search quality than using semantic similarity for both. Similarly, for document search, use retrieval query for queries, and for fact checking, use fact verification. Beyond document retrieval and question answering, Embedding models also support optimized embeddings for code retrieval, text classification, and clustering. For instance, the code retrieval query task type can perform well on finding code snippets. Also, embeddings generated with the classification task type are valuable for semantically classifying text, enabling use cases like customer and product segmentation. This novel embedding model provides optimized performance for each task. For example, consider the question, what is the best birthday present for my son? Let's generate embeddings for two possible answers. The first, my son says Taylor Swift's birthday is December 13th. The second, a Lego set. With semantic similarity, the first answer has higher similarity to the question because both mention birthday and my son. It's similar to the question, but doesn't actually answer it. However, by specifying the question answering task, the second answer, a Lego set, receives a much higher similarity score. This is because the embedding space for question answering captures the question and answer relationships learned by the LLM. The graph demonstrates that search quality, as measured by mean reciprocal rank, significantly improves when the appropriate task type, in this case question answering, is specified. This is based on an analysis of 10,000 natural question answer pairs from the NQ open dataset. In many cases, switching from semantic similarity to question answering results in a 30% to 40% increase in MRR. Selecting the appropriate task type for your specific needs can in enhance the user experience of your generative AI applications. As we've seen, Google has been working to optimize the semantic search quality of its major services for many years. They've packaged their knowledge and expertise into easy to use task type embedding models. These solutions can help you build your own RAG or enterprise search systems and improve the user experience of generative AI applications. If you're interested in task type embeddings, please check out the resources link in the description. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.